hello beautiful people in this video we're going to be making this very simple and easy turmeric face gel this face gel is going to help brighten and moisturize your skin so if this sounds like something you're interested in keep watching the first ingredient you're going to be using to make this face gel is our aloe vera gel aloe vera gel is going to serve as the base for this face gel Aloe vera gel is extremely moisturizing and it is smooth. I'm going to begin by measuring out my aloe vera gel into my mixing bowl. If you like, you can also use other kinds of gel base like hyaluronic acid gel. That will also work very well for this recipe, but I am using aloe vera gel. The next ingredient I'll be using for this face gel is my ojoba oil. I'm using ojoba oil because it is a non-comedogenic oil, which means it will not clog your pores. You can also use other non-comedogenic oils, but don't use oils that will clog your pores like coconut oil. Next, I'm going to add my carrier oil, which is ojoba oil, into my aloe vera gel base. You can also use your sweet almond oil in place of the ojoba oil. Now after adding in my ojoba oil, I'm just going to give this a very good mix. I'm going to combine the ojoba oil and aloe vera gel together until I get this creamy smooth consistency. As you mix, you're going to notice that it's going to become very cloudy and very creamy. So just keep mixing and mixing until you get that very nice creamy and milky consistency like this. Once you arrive at this consistency, then you know that your oil and gel has been carefully and properly combined and now we can go in with our other ingredients. Our next ingredient of course is our turmeric powder. This is a turmeric face gel, so it will not be complete without our turmeric powder. Turmeric powder has antibacterial and antifungal property and it also has the brightening property. Right now I'm going to add my turmeric powder straight into my face gel and after adding it in it's time to mix. I'm going to mix until my turmeric powder is well combined with the rest of my face gel. You need to mix very well so that you can get a uniform look and feel of your face gel. Once you're done mixing, this is what it looks like. Now I'll be adding in my lavender essential oil. This is to give our face gel that sweet and nice smell. Now we need to mix again so that our lavender essential oil is well combined in our face gel. As you can see, our face gel is already looking so nice, so beautiful and trust me, it even feels better. This face gel is going to help with brightening the face. It's also going to help with moisturizing the face and giving you that even and healthy glow. If you watched this video till this point, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button, drop a comment and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. Bye and see you in my next video.